Hey everybody, today I'm making pecan pickups. It's just a little pastry that we're gonna make in this mini muffin pan, and we're gonna put a uh, pecan filling in it, put it in the oven, bake it, and it's going to be delicious. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm gonna put in it, but I also need for you to give me some feedback. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but on my recipes, I'm beginning to put those at the beginning of my video. I've been repeating the ingredients twice so that you would have time to write it down, but now you can just take a snapshot of it with your camera, the ingredients and the directions. So give me some feedback on how you like that. I don't wanna do it and spend the time doing it if, you, if it's not helpful to you. So for our pecan pickups, we, for our, our pastry, we're going to use three ounces of cream cheese, and I've let this come to room temperature. One stick, which is one half cup of butter. I've also let that uh, soften so that we can cream it together. And then one cup of all-purpose flour, white lily all-purpose flour. And that's our uh, ingredients to make our pastry. So for the filling, we're going to use a half a cup of finely chopped pecans, one egg at room temperature, three-fourths of a cup of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one teaspoon of melted butter. And that's it. Let's get started. For the pastry, we're using one stick of butter and three ounces of cream cheese. And I'm going to take my electric mixer and just start mixing that together in this small bowl. This makes 24 little pecan pickups. If you needed more, you could just double your recipe, but it makes a nice amount. Now we're going to add our flour. A little bit at the time. Just working it around, making our pastry. And you probably notice I already have on my gloves. I use gloves anytime that I'm working with pastry, simply so the pastry will not stick to my hands and I can work it easier. And this is one of the recipes that I do use gloves to do this. So I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. I'm going to use a 24 mini muffin pan. Uh, it makes 24 little mini muffins. Um, and I'm going to divide this dough into 24 different parts. So let me show you how we're going to do that. Going to rake it down on the sides. Just like that. And you could put this in the refrigerator if it makes it easier for you to work with it. Um, and let it cool for just a little bit before trying to divide it and make the um, little pastries. So here I have a muffin uh, pan, that uh, mini muffin pan with 24 little compartments. And here is our dough. And I'm just gonna set this here. So now, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to roll it and just place it down in the mini muffin compartment. I think that I will let this um, sit in the refrigerator for a few minutes and it'll be easier to mold and shape to the uh, pan. I didn't grease it because we have butter and we have uh, cream cheese and that's enough. Um, if you wanted to spray it with a non-stick spray, you could do that. So I'm just placing it in the muffin tin, and when I get finished, I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator and let it harden for just a few minutes, and then I'll come back and we'll shape it, we'll make our um, pecan filling, and we'll pop it in the oven and bake it. While our pastry is cooling or chilling in the refrigerator so it'll be easier to shape in the little muffin tins, we'll go ahead and mix up our 
uh, pecan filling and we're starting out with one egg and again this is at room temperature we're using three-fourths of a cup of light brown sugar one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of melted butter and I'm just going to go ahead and put it all in here together before I start mixing. Keep it simple, keep it fast, make it easy for all of us. So I'm just starting out with a fork to kind of beat up my egg, mixing it with the sugar. You want to make sure that you get all the lumps out of the sugar. beat it around like that. I, like, I remember mama, she used to turn the bowl like this and just kind of whip it up. <laughs> oh, I miss her so, so much. Look at that. How easy is that? So now, I'm going to rake it down on the sides, getting all that good sugar mixed and blended in. We're going to add our pecans, one half cup of finely chopped pecans, and our pecan filling is ready to go in our little pastry shells once they chill enough so that we can form them in the pan. So I'll be back in just a minute and we'll get started with that. Okay, our pastry is chilled. You can tell that it's kind of firm. And I want to show you this little gadget that I have here. This is called a pastry tamper, T-A-M-P-E-R. I think that's how you say that. And I have sprayed it with um, some nonstick spray. And all that you do is you just take it, I hope you can see this, and you just press down really hard and it forms your little shell. I got this off of Amazon, um, and they actually make one that is the shape of the, um, the little uh, compartment in the mini, um, mini muffin tin. Look at that, how easy that is. It certainly is quicker and easier than trying to do it with your hands. So I'm going to finish... Um, making these little shells, and then we'll put our pie crust in. Well, actually, I've got it made. Let me see if I can go ahead and do it uh, while you're here with me. So we have our, pie sh our pecan pie filling, or pecan filling, it's not pecan pie, but it's uh, pie, uh, pecan filling. I'm, I'm gonna say pie regardless, aren't I? And I'm just gonna put the little filling in just like that. It's that simple. Look at that. This is going to be so delicious. So easy. So good. So I'm going to finish these. I'm going to pop it in the oven on 350. And it calls for uh, 30 minutes of baking. I'm not sure that it'll take 30 minutes in my oven. Mine bakes really fast. So I just wanted to sit, show you that this is how it's done. And it's so easy, and your family will love having these in your kitchen so they can just come by and pick up one and keep going. I'll be right back. Okay, our little pecan pickups are done. They have been in the oven for 20 minutes. Remember, my oven cooks fast on 350. So this is what they look like. I'm going to take them out, let them cool, and we'll sample here are our pecan pickups that are done uh, and plated and ready to serve. And I have it on a little pedestal. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and I have some pine cone lilies here uh, beside it and just on this red and white checked uh, dish towel. So it doesn't take much to make something beautiful. But not only are these pretty, but they are delicious because I've already tasted one, but I'm going to taste another one. Um, with you. 
Okay, let's give this video a wrap because we're all finished and it didn't take that long. I do have two tips for you. Make sure that you do um, divide your dough and put it in your little mini muffin uh, tins and pop it in the uh, freezer or refrigerator for a little while and let it cool before you try to form it to the tins. And also when you start taking it out of the tins, your little uh, pecan pickups, let it cool completely and loosen it on the sides and gently lift it out because this um, uh, crust is very, very tender. It's very short. That's a good word for it. It's very short. So thank you for watching. Be sure and share our videos. We're on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and thank you for your support and your love and for watching our videos. And I love you. And now let's taste this pecan pickup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the perfect little snack mm -hmm. our finger food dessert so so good hope you'll try it have a blessed day blessed evening i'll see you again really really soon